Five more horsepower, and you can see there that Neat's gone defensive up the inside. I expect Antonelli to go to the outside. You can only make one move. Antonelli around the outside, down into turn six. Teammates, by the way, teammates, by the way. Now, he's shortcut uh, no, turn seven. You're not allowed to do that. He's going to have to give that place back because we've probably only got one more racing lap to do, and he gets out of the way. He's got to be careful. He's got to give the place back, but also he's got to make sure that he doesn't get, uh, James Wharton doesn't get up too close. And what a great move that he volunteered already did that he's only going to get one chance to do that again and he's going to try it around the outside at master corner this is the first time i've seen this happen and he's alongside but not quite close enough but what that's done is gave james wharton he's coming in very close yeah that's brilliant now to the outside for antonelli there of course doesn't work now it's into turn 12 <laughs> just before the hotel different lines this is brilliant racing they're showing again yes they are teammates but of <laughs> course everyone for themselves now we are in the maybe already it's the last lap of the race and we have at least three cars fighting for the victory well what they've done alex dune has closed up on the back of, yeah. of those and uh, we thought he was out of this one but he is right on the back as they head down the start finish straight for the other start finish straight because we have two why what where yes we want two of everything as they head down into turn one it's car 57 uh, Antonelli leading now from James Neat as they went across but it's switched back again hasn't it because that was from the other start finish line I knew I'd get confused on that one as uh, the clock now kicks down and uh, we will see the zeros come out again and still car 57 out in the lead as they head down to turn 5 and it's Oh, that good line. I really like the way that Antonelli takes that line. He, he makes up so much. It is car 57. It is neat on, on the lead. Car 99, they're going to do this all over again. And keep an eye on James Wharton. Car number 13 on, on the, there. He saw all this happen in front of him. Here we go again. The overtake happens a lot earlier. And... Uh, Antonelli's got good pace going down there. They're going to do it again, side by side, down into turn six. They stay off each other. Now, that was a fantastic move. But does he have the drive coming out of turn seven? They're three wide. They're going to be three wide coming through here as the check and flag is out. Who's going to take it? I have no idea. It's Antonelli takes it by 0 .003 of a second. Unbelievable stuff. <laughs> wow. What a race. Just a tenth behind is uh, James Wharton in, um, in a th a third position. Alex Doon makes it into fourth. Rick Cohen in fifth. Nikita Bedrin in the sixth position. Martin Stenshorn in seventh. And they, 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 didn't, they didn't see the flag because they were looking at each other. <laughs> they really didn't see the flag. I'm quite convinced of that because I don't think they were looking at the flag post. No. They were looking at each other. They were trying to work out where each other was. Um, we may get some uh, flashing yellows on the circuit very, very shortly at the pace that they, these youngsters are heading around there. But we have 24 finishes out of the 27 starters. Retirements, unfortunately, for Jamie Day.